So here I am in my refrigerator looking for something to make for dinner and I pulled out some ground beef and I had cabbage and I have beet leaves and I didn't know what to do and I, I at first when I saw the cabbage I said oh I'll make um, stuffed cabbage but my the outer leaves of the cabbage weren't quite big enough so I decided I had watched a YouTube channel and I'll Noted below the name of the channel this husband and wife and they and I, they have a video called a poor man's steak and it's really taking and slicing let me get this like here cabbage real thick all right well I already had cooked half the cabbage so I was only taking the other half they had it so it was the whole circle so this is about an inch thick, maybe a little bit more. And so I sliced my cabbage all the way around like that. Then I said, oh, you've got beet leaves in the refrigerator. What are you going to do? They're great sauteed. All right. So that's the leaves from the beets in my garden. Sorry about going out of the line there. So beets from my garden. So I... I decided, okay, let's put that in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hamburger meat and I'm going to put it in the middle just like as though I was making a meatloaf. And then I will have my cabbage, so not quite cabbage stuffed, no. And then I've got beets that will give me some more nutrients and fresh nutrients. So what did I put in the hamburger meat? Well, what I put in the hamburger meat, and I still have it here on the counter, I put a package of Lipton onion soup. I put in three eggs. I had some fresh ground pepper, which, yes, I still have the bottle out here somewhere. Fresh ground pepper, just a few cranks of it. I added um, about a table teaspoonful of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a little bit of rosemary that I harvested from the garden. So straight from my garden is the beets and the rosemary. I don't have anything else from the garden now. I may slice up some green onion tops because I've got some green I've got some green onion tops that I harvested also. So I may put those on. I'll, I'll let you know. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the middle here and I'm going to make it and I'm going to cook it with the lid on. Give it a little steam action and cook it at probably 350 degrees. I'll take a couple pictures and let you know uh, I didn't set up to do a video. I just, as I was doing this, I said, well, this is another one of my new kind of recipes. Why don't I just pop in and do a video for it? So that's what I decided to do. Hope you enjoy the rest of it. I will make a comment about, you know, how it tastes. Oh, I do plan to sprinkle... Uh, Himalayan sea salt all over this entire thing, probably some more cracked peppers, and those those green onions, yeah, I'm going to put those green onions on them, so I'm going to chop them up and put them over the top. i give you a picture of this just before I'm ready to put it in the oven, and then a picture when I take it out of the oven, and I will let you know whether it worked or not whether I got a new recipe, something fantastic, and what do I want to call it? Unstuffed cabbage? That's what I'll call it. Unstuffed cabbage.
Yes, so I'm popping this in the oven at 350 degrees, and it'll probably be in here for about an hour and a half. Oh, if you want to know what this is, this little frame here, it's called a hearth kit, H-E-A-T-H -E kit. However, I was looking online and it doesn't look like they make it anymore. But what it does is it gives me an even temperature oven. It, the oven um, has a pretty good temperature. I just bought this, this stove in December, but um, I've been using that hearth kit for about seven years. And what happens is when the oven turns off, I can turn the oven off early and the stone in that hearth kit will keep the oven warm and the food will continue to cook. Also, if since you can't get a hearth kit, the other thing is keep a pizza stone in your oven or two. Or you can go buy um, unglazed tile at your local Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware, wherever you can find unglazed tile. Underneath that pizza stone is a piece of unglazed tile. So all of that stone keeps my oven hot. That It doesn't cycle as often because the stone holds the heat. It's kind of similar to solar heat when you have tile in a sunroom and the sun hits that tile over the evening, it will release the heat that it collected during the day with the sun. Anyway, even the oven is just now going up. I'm setting it for 350 degrees, but I put the things, the pot in there early anyway. So I'll let you know how it goes. All right, well, we've gotten the cabbage all done the meatloaf is done it took about an hour and it looks fantastic i cut 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 a piece of the meat and taken a piece of the cabbage and i placed it on my plate and it looks so good and trust me it tasted fantastic so Thank you for watching today and go ahead and try it yourself. You know, make your regular old everyday meatloaf and just put the cabbage steaks around it. I didn't put any additional liquid in the pan. I just let the juices from the meatloaf help with the cabbage. So until the next video, as you have believed, let it be done to you and it is so.